Yar, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pixel Pirate. I'm your host, Ripped Rick. Um, today, or actually in the last episode, we went ahead and died, if you don't remember. Uh, I went back and I picked up a few things. We obviously didn't get everything, like our, our, our actual shot that we made. So we're going to have to make some more of this episode just to be safe. Um, I do like the guns, though. It, it is turning into nighttime, it appears. Um, and normally, we would be going out and farming some more mobs. But I have installed a new um, mod. Uh, it is the flax mod. It simply adds a flax plant, and uh, then you can get string from that, and I figured that will help if we make a nice flax farm. It will, it will help us be able to create a lot of the stuff in Codemasters Pirates uh, mod. So that's what we will be doing this episode. Um, let's go ahead and make our shot, though. In order to do that, I believe we need these two. We're going to actually go get some more um, sugar cane here. Because it seems like there is plenty to go around. Uh, we'll also replant, obviously. Or, well, we won't take all of it so that it will always regrow. We'll just lay down a few more here. Just so that next time we need it, we have it. See, and then I'll go pick up this other stuff that is, not, is kind of out of the way. So that we can uh, always have a sufficient supply. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. Uh, we, we are going to be starting a flax farm, so we're going to need to get some dirt as well. And then we got to go out and break a little bit of grass, but I'm sure that won't be too bad. Uh, but we are going to make uh, a flintlock, and then I think we're going to try out, try, I'm going to say this very specifically, we're going to try to make another gun. Um, because I, I think one has a faster load time than the other. Uh, actually, I'm sure it does by half a second. But I'm not sure which which one I remember reading that. So we're going to have to check that out. Let's go ahead and get this slag iron. And we will change that into slag iron plates. Uh, 12 will be fine. Let's go ahead and cool it. Oh, hey, we have some more. That's okay. And we got to get this bucket. And we'll refill it right away like we do every time. There we go. And then let's go ahead and make our ammunition because we can. I believe this is the recipe. Yep. Nice. Okay, so we are out of... Okay, I know we're out of... It's okay. We'll just let this uh, keep going, though, so that next time we'll have it already made and we'll have more shots. Uh, we'll, we know we have 12. We'll, we'll hopefully keep an eye out for how many exactly we have uh, as we go. Um, yeah, and the reason why we need string, or we need, yeah, we need string to make rope, and then that rope will allow us to make a few more things in the mod. Um, and that, that will help us get our food going and stuff like that as well. Uh, remember, we are trying to also start a tree farm. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll probably handle it off off screen for you guys just so you don't have to see me take down a bunch of trees. But we are going to break a ton of grass right now try to get ourselves some flax seeds. Now, I was, I was told it's too tall grass. Oh, see, there's flax seeds. Boom. How fast was that? It's too tall grass, or at least that's what the mod said on the page. But it could it could obviously be either or, I believe. We're just gonna break a ton. So now the new flaxseed. Uh, in order to get the process under the way, I did some testing, and it turns out that you can't fully grow the flaxseed um, without like you you can't fully grow the flaxseed seed uh, with with bone meal. Is what I was meaning to say. Um, so we're gonna just grow it as much as possible with, with the flat, with the bone meal, and then we'll we'll have to let nature obviously take its course. Um, that should be enough. I think eight or thirteen flaxseed. Yeah, real lucky number. But it's lucky for pirates, right? Because uh, I do pirates. Yeah, pirates. I guess do believe in a lot of superstition, don't they? Hmm. Eesh. I don't know. So maybe 13 is not a good number, and we'll just put that one in the bottom of the ocean uh, to be safe. Okay, so now we're going to have to create a hoe, and I believe we have a shovel down here, correct? Okay, we need to, we'll just we'll make an iron, iron everything for right now, because, uh, come on. Because um, we, we not, I don't plan on using this hoe all the time, so I think we'll be fine. Oh, wait, and then i got to grab the dirt that's in this chest. And I, I don't think we need to make a huge farm. And I also don't want it to be in the front because our our cool pirate house can't be ruined by having a um a cute little flax farm in the front yard, huh? 
So let's go ahead and uh, and make it at the back of the house. It'll still get plenty of sunlight because we're out in the desert. No, yeah, we don't have to worry about anything like that. Yeah, and I'll get back to you when uh, when I believe we're done building it. Uh, I should be fine until then. Okay, so I had to come back in to grab a couple buckets of water so we can get an infinite water source in case we need water out the back here. Um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to create a shortcut for us right here. And uh, then we'll just have it in order to be able to get back to the flax. And, uh, yeah, and, and then we'll also put a door here and we'll make it look good, obviously. But uh, obviously, as you can see, the farm is almost done. It's not much longer now. Oh, I forgot the bone meal. We're going to have to go grab that. But it's no big deal. Um, so I believe this will work. I think it spreads out to four blocks in every direction. So I think this this farm should be fine for now at least. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plant the... Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. My keyboard took control of itself there instead of walking me to the, to the right, but no big deal. Okay, so we're going to plant all the flax here. Right, and then we will uh, we'll go ahead and plant these seeds, even though they're not super important. Um, just so we have some extra wheat if we need it, or some seeds if we need them. Um, so let's go ahead and... Actually, first, let's go ahead and craft our door. And now, in 1.8, obviously, we'd have Acacia Door there, and I think that'd be really cool, but obviously we're not in 1.8 because we play modded, and I like modded. Okay, and then we also need... Stairs, so we'll take some more stands. Sand, stand, stand, stand. <laughs> we'll take some more sandstone, and we'll go ahead and uh, have some stairs to work with. Oh, and bone meal. Duh, that's what we came in here like for in the first place. Okay, we got two bones. I should have more than that though. I thought we got more on our adventure out fighting the skeletons and stuff. Yeah, we did. Good. This is really scaring me. I, I, we're gonna have to figure out a way to, to make that a lot safer. If anybody knows of like a cool, a cool way to use like in, in a mod or something like that, please let me know. Because I, I, as you can tell, I've been adding mods, and the, the whole idea is, is at the end of this, we will have like a ton of mods that will make a very cool pirate series, um, and, and that's why I've been adding them. I actually have an idea for another one, but I'm not gonna let you guys know that one until that episode comes out, obviously. Um, yeah, we're going to keep going down the road. Obviously, I've, I've told you about the rum idea that I had, but I'm not quite sure that... Uh, I, I don't know exactly when that will come to fruition, obviously. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just going to keep right-clicking it and letting it grow. See, and you can only get it to half height. It, it actually grows to two blocks tall. See how that one uh, right there grew higher than the rest? So we're just going to let them... But yeah, and then so this will give us the ability to get string, and then once we can get string, we can work on more ropes, and we can work on the rope stuff. But for now, oh, oh ah, okay, that's why we put water at the bottom. That was a little scary. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, so so we are gonna create the newest rifle. It's gonna be very cool. Um, just give me a minute, guys. I'll pull up the page for us, and we will we will get to work on that. Okay, I have it pulled up. It's it look. It's gonna be a project, but it's gonna be a good one. Um, we first need, well, let's start out here. We're going to need some more molds. So let's go ahead and create some more of those. We actually have enough sticks to make a perfect amount. Well, not perfect. We probably are going to need more, but this is what we will use for now. Let's go ahead and get eight molds. Put these guys back. Get all the molds. Actually, we'll, we'll leave everything we need in here. Uh, I think we need one of those. Uh, let's go ahead and grab slag iron. With the slag iron, we are going to need to make... Um, quite a few things actually, so we're going to need two of these, two of these, another two, that should be good, and then uh, we have the, all these iron plates for this shot that I made, so we are actually going to need to make some more of this as well. And now we're going to need two of these barrels, and then we are going to need one of these blades. What else are we going to need? We're, and that, that should be it. We also need a flint and steel, which I believe we have. And we need two pieces of oak wood. Now we have that. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and start cooling. Uh, oh, apparently 
we ran out of uh, cooling stuff. So let's go ahead and drop this guy in there. And then what should we what should we cool? We'll, we'll start with the slag because you can do two at a time. Go ahead and grab this bucket back. Throw another bucket in. And we'll drop off these buckets, uh, these extra buckets that we have, or the, that extra bucket that we have. And then what else will we do? We have those. Oh yeah, we can get rid of the slag iron. We just gotta like, we gotta like put things away as we go, or else we'll just be completely lost. Okay, so now we we still need one of these plates, right? One, two, one, one, one. Yeah. Okay, and then we gotta go make our foot and steel, which should be flint here, and then iron should be in here. There is our flint and steel. Awesome. Now let's go back. Let's see how those are cooling off very well. Let's do this now, and then we'll 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 start we'll start crafting it in our crafting table. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need these two, and then this guy up in the corner here, like that. You're also gonna need this piece here. Oh, see and look, and so now we're done. We have a musket, right? But that's not all we want. We also want a blade on the front of our musket. Right, you see how that did that? So empty musket with a bayonet, without a bayonet. So we're doing it with the bayonet. And now it says here, uh, these all use the same shot, but muskets uh, no, and, uh, shoot further, um, but it takes more iron to craft, uh, and it takes longer to reload. So these ones are the longer reload. They take damage as you use them. The bayonet adds a melee damage to the normal musket when you craft a gun. Okay, so yeah, so it, it adds melee damage, obviously. So let's go ahead and take that, and I think we're going to go fire at some some targets um, after we put a few more things away, obviously. We don't need the hoe and stuff right now. Uh, and all this sand that we acquired from digging up the, uh, the farm. There we go. Okay, so let's go shoot at some stuff. I know... Oh, wait. First, let's sleep, obviously. I think, I, I don't know, I was thinking about making a houseboat because, like, obviously we're more comfortable sleeping on the water because, you know, we're pirates, so we're usually sleeping on the water. We like a little bit of rocking going. Um, and I know what you guys think, uh, obviously, right here we, we do not have, uh, like, an ocean, but there's a big lake here. That's pretty cool. And, obviously, there's an ocean over here. Um, I know somebody had questioned, like, whether or not there, I lived by an ocean or not, and, yeah, I do. It's just... We went a little bit into land so that the other pirates can't see us, obviously. Let's go ahead and check on the flax. I should not have gone out of the front door for that, but that's all right. Oh, it's growing very slowly, as uh, as I would have guessed. Awesome. No big deal. Like I said, we it's just there for the, for the doing. Let's go ahead and check this stuff. Ooh, hello. It's very, very well grown. Okay. So remember what I said. I'm going to keep this stuff because this is just experience. And until we need to use the experience for something, it's better to just save it. Ow. Oh, see what I mean? We got to get rid of the hole. It's driving me crazy. Okay. And then I don't know where we're going to put the concentrated essence. I guess we'll put it in. Um, Actually, we could start. See, I don't want to waste all of our lava because I know we're going to need it for other things. So I don't want to just smelt everything all at once. Um, but we're going to start putting the concentrated ore berries in, in, the, uh, in, in our valuables chest for now. And we'll drop this too. Sorry, I didn't see it before. Uh, yeah, and so, so like in the future, uh, obviously I need to get a little bit more organized with what we are uh, dealing with here. We'll have a weapons case. We'll have a foods well miscellaneous all that good stuff um if you guys can think of like a good pirates mod i know there's the barrels mod if you've ever heard of it i was thinking about using that one but if if you guys know of a better storage mod that may seem like a little bit more piratey even though barrels are pretty piratey uh please let me know down in the comment section below um yeah it'd be very cool we have one piece of rope it's so cool <laughs> I, we need like we need six pieces of rope for the thing that I want to create uh, and obviously I don't want to give that away quite yet But let's go shoot something Because we just made our musket and we'll stab it. We'll stab and shoot something. Uh, let's go out here and hopefully find some pigs or sheep 
Now, I was also looking into like a decrafting mod, like, you know, something where I could take the uh, wool and I could change it into uh, string, like, you know, like uh, backwards work it so that we wouldn't have to go kill a bunch of mobs over and over again. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't find anything that I was really comfortable with, which made me, which led me to the flax mod, because I don't know if you know this, but pirates, uh, they obviously took over ships, and those ships had tobacco, uh, mainly tobacco or slaves, uh, obviously, if you, if you didn't know, there's a little American history, or not American history, there's a little history for you. Uh, let's go ahead and, ooh, ooh, you hear the click of that gun, ready? Listen, listen for the shot. Ooh, ooh, one hit kill. Oh, wow, that was really cool. Okay, let's go ahead and stab this guy. We'll see how much, uh, or how, how fast we can kill him with stabbing him. One, two, two stabs? That's like an iron sword, or a diamond sword, right? Or maybe iron. That's awesome, holy crap. Okay, so let's go ahead and eat up a little bit. Actually, you know what, no, we're not gonna eat up because I wanna show you something else before we go. Um, let's, let me just shoot one more pig. I don't know what the range on these are, so let's go ahead and... Ooh! Ooh, look at the range on that thing! That is absolutely insane! Very, very cool. Uh, yeah. And so, like, I, like I was always saying, uh, and the flax was also a big trade, uh, for... So, like, it's, it is a pirate theme, because at that time, flax was, was coming into fruition. Fur... Uh, fur yeah, you, I think it was, it was coming into play into the world, and uh, yeah, and that's why I decided to use the flax mod. I, I thought it fit very well, and like I was saying, I'm trying to make a trying to make like a ton of different a ton of different mods all fit together uh, in in a pirate sort of sense. Um, who knows if I'll make it a mod pack for for other people to download? I think it'd be cool, but obviously that's that's way further down the road. Uh, that's long game stuff, but shh, don't tell anybody. It's this will be our little secret, okay? Okay, so what I wanted to show you, uh, finally, this is the last thing I'll, I'll be showing you in this episode. Uh, let's go ahead and cook this pork. Uh, do we have any coal? Are you kidding me? There's got to be coal around here somewhere. Oh, do we use it to fuel this guy? Yeah, we did. Called it. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop. We'll start cooking that, and then we'll come back over here. And we will grab, in this chest, some of the salt. If you guys don't remember, we mined some of the salt uh, just out in the desert. It's little white patches. It looks like white sand, really. Uh, I'm not seeing a patch that I can show you right now. We'll, we'll take a little gander, though. Not a big deal. Uh, those of you guys should see it if you, if you don't remember us picking it up. There, right there. There's salt right next to this cactus. Now, it's picked up with a pickaxe, I believe. Yep. See how fast I picked that up? Awesome. So now you know uh, th that is also added in Codemasters Pirates, uh, and now what I'm what I'm going to show you is actually a pretty cool trick. Um, the, we obviously have the um, the regular cooked pork chops, right? But the deal is, is that when the pirates used to travel, they obviously needed to keep food longer. So in order to keep food longer, what would they do? They would add salt. Now this salt can be added in the crafting table with a piece of anything and you get salted at blank 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 right now normally obviously the the food does not go like away or doesn't doesn't go bad in minecraft and it doesn't in this mod either but what it does do in this it adds to hunger value and point two to the saturation value so it will it will not only feed you more it'll feed you and last longer so let's go ahead and eat that very awesome. Uh, it does it with, uh, there's a list here. Give me a second. Uh, it can be, it can be crafted into the block. Yeah, obviously we saw the white drop blocks. And then you can do steak, pork chops, cooked fish, cooked salmon. Um, and, yeah, and cooked salmon. So you get all those, uh, which is very cool because then obviously your food keeps like a pirate's would. And it's, it's obviously a lot better for you. Let's go ahead and turn this instantly into that because why wouldn't we that makes uh that food very very op so we'll keep it only in situations where we are very hungry um thank you guys everybody for watching this episode if you enjoyed it please don't be afraid to hit that like button if you're new to the channel don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw uh, if you are interested in more episodes i do have some obviously that we've done before so if you want to catch up with the series that'd be very very cool um and yeah have a great day uh make sure that your ship stays clean and uh, swap the poop deck. Ah!